Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a technique that I came up with using this fun stamp set, the Gorgeous Leaves stamp set. It's so cute. I love this one. Um, it's perfect for fall, but it also is super fun with these background stamps right here in the set. And I wanted to show you a little technique that I came up with to make a fun background using those stamps. So I'm going to start with this fun kind of wood grain stamp that's in there. Um, and I have just a crumb cake piece of cardstock here and early espresso ink. And I'm just going to stamp all over this, but I'm going to do it kind of strategically. I'm going to stamp off first and just kind of give myself a little base here in the background. And when you stamp using a stamp that's kind of like this, a background stamp, but it doesn't cover the whole background, one of the um, tips is to change the direction of the stamp so it doesn't look like you're using just the same stamp over and over and over again. So I'm going to just kind of rotate it as I go down my page. But I do want all of my wood grain to be the same direction. So I'm still gonna, going to do it all um, vertically like this. I'm just going to rotate my stamp as I do it. So I'm just stamping it off and I'm going to just kind of get that baseline down here. Just like that and finish up that last row. Just like that. Okay, but then I want to add a, a few more spaces where it's not all so uniform in color so that it looks a little more realistic, like it could actually be like a wooden gate or something. So I'm just going to add another stamp in here and over here and like maybe I want this corner to be kind of darker because on real wood you have darker places and you have lighter places make that look like a distressed piece of wood just like that I feel pretty happy about that so let me show you the card I came up with um, using this background here. This is the card. It says much gratitude. So I used also the intricate leaves dies and I added a cute little um, focal point there on my card. But I just love that background look. This stamp set has quite a few stamps that would be great for using it as a background. Um, this one and this one and even these little leaves back here too. So I want to show you some other ideas that we've come up with using those as the background and then also putting um, the, the leaves and the other things on top to have a focal point on top of that. So let me show you here. So the next one is with this cool kind of watercolory stamp. So Here's some ideas of colors. This is just with some gray and kind of doing that same thing where you have the darker and then the lighter and you just do it all over to this. This one is a um, has different blues in here. So this is with some different colors and that's with some reds and oranges. Looks super cool. Here's the one that I came up with on a on a whole card. So this is just mint macaron and I just did the whole background like that and then my focal point with much gratitude and then here's one using the little leaves here you can see in the background super fun. This is a great step stamp set coming into fall to use with the leaves and all the pretty backgrounds in it. But it's also a great stamp set for any time you need a background. You can grab it and fill in that background of your stamp set. You can do it instead of using designer series paper if you don't have any on hand or other things like that. 
it's so much fun. If you have any questions or if you want to visit our website, make sure to visit us at stampinjill.com. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.